Hey everyone, let's solve the first question from today's weekly contest that is determine if two events have conflict. You are given two arrays of strings that represent two inclusive events that happened on the same day, event 1 and event 2. Right? Event times are valid 24 hours format in the form of HH and MM. A conflict happens when two events have some non-empty intersection. Return true if there is a conflict between two events, otherwise return false. So basically we are given two vectors in which there, there are two strings given that is the start time and end time of both of the events. Right. So we have to basically tell if there was a clash between like if even one moment was common between those events. Right. So we have to return true. Otherwise we have to return false. So it's an easy question. Right. You must have understood it. So basically there will be two cases. Right. The first case will be. The first case will be if like this is let's say this is start time one and end time one. This is for event one start time and end time of event one and st2 and et2 for start time and end time of event two. So basically there will be two cases. The first case is if this event one starts before event two. If event one starts before event two then we have to simply check if if the end time of event 1 is less than the start time of event 2 then there will be no clash between these two events right because the constraint is already given to us that start time the start time 1 is less than end time 1 and start time 2 is less than end time 2 so there will not be multiple cases here all right so we have to basically check for this case right now in case 2 we have to check so let's say that event 2 starts first and event first starts second then we have to compare then we have to compare the end time of event 2 with the start time of event 1 so this is the second condition that we have to check so if this happens then there is also no conflict so hence in these cases we have to return false and for all other cases we have to return true right so let's see the code so here basically what we have done is we have uh, taken string out of this vector right the first string st1 that start time of event 1 et1 is start time of event 1 right and similarly for event 2 and then we have made these two cases where we have to return false uh, else we have written true 